Hi guys, it's James Blick here. Now, I'm in San Sebastián, a town in the Basque country, a region in the north of Spain, uh, right on the Bay of Biscay, a beautiful town. And the drink that the locals drink, as well as wine and beer, is cider. They've been making cider for centuries. And a true local tradition from January to April is to head to the towns uh, around San Sebastián and go to cider houses. Now, these are the places where the cider is made. And what it means, it means drinking uh, freshly fermented cider from massive barrels, eating incredible food, big steaks and things like that, and having a whale of a time. So tonight with a couple of friends, a couple of colleagues from Devour Tours, we're going to have the true Basque Cider House experience. You guys hungry? Before the first course, we need a drink. And if you want a glass of cider at a Basque Cider House, you have to head for the barrel room and drink directly from the barrel. This stuff is, is almost acerbic. It's bitter, it's refreshing. It's, it's, it hasn't got all those bubbles. It's just aerated a little bit by when the cider hits the back of your glass. And one of the beautiful things about this cider is it just begs to go with food. First course, chorizo and morfia, blood sausage. Uh, we're starting a little light because there's a lot to come, uh, including the big slabs of T-bone steaks that are to be grilled on that grill right behind me. It's all you can drink cider. And I'm told the tradition is to drink small amounts, but regularly. This is getting dangerous. It's perfect. Creamy on the inside, but it's got the sweetness of the slightly caramelized onion. There's the slightly saltiness of the salt cod. Okay, more cider. As the man said, a little bit and often. What I love about salt cod is it it's not like normal fresh fish. You know, obviously it's been it's been salted and dried. It's meaty, it's delicious. And and here in the Basque country they love it. It's it's so important to the cuisine. Once again, back from more cider. These cows are about six or seven years old when they're, when they're killed. That means that they have a lot of fat inside the meat because he said the fat around the meat, that does nothing. It's the fat inside the meat that gives it all the flavor. I feel weak at the knees. You get the hit of salt. It's charred on the outside. It, it's raw but warm on the inside. It is really, really good. And as is the tradition when you're eating communally, we've made friends with the, with the group of guys alongside us. A huge basket of walnuts, which are gonna, we're going to be cracking. Uh, Idiathaba cheese, which is a smoked sheep's cheese that's, that's typical to the region. Nuts, cheese, and a, and a marmalade. And you know what? That's my kind of dessert. I sense what is coming from these boys behind me is a choch. Now, when somebody calls choch, that means you've got to head to the barrels. Here we are with our new friends, eh, Ricardo, Manuel y Javier. ¿Y qué vamos a decir a la, a la gente, chicos? ¡Chorch! Muy bonito. ¿Qué voces tenéis? Sí. 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 La tesitura sí. perfecta de la sidra, ¿eh?